For over a century, animated films have given us an imagined actuality of what we go through every day, integrating hard to swallow subjects as well as relatable triumphs through visual storytelling. However, animated films are just as guilty as using their own tropes as a typical blockbuster. In 2014, Sarah Boxer writes about her disgusted cartoon mothers killed off her strong fathers, and saying these fictional pieces of art are inaccurate to the real family dynamic. Now, specifically looking at Disney here in this argument, aka the animation powerhouse of the world, let's just see how valid this argument is. Now, how many Disney animated films has Disney made? Now, how many of those involve parentless protagonists? But which ones follow Sarah's argument? She is a mother after all, and wants to see these mother characters in on the fun. Although there are a variety of heroes journeys out there that Disney actually does use within their films. Some heroes involve a mother and or father involved in the story. Or have no parents, but rather a highly influential role model or role models within their life. Some even give a new parent figures that may or may not affect them in a positive way. Or just show the characters embarking on their own story. So yeah. The mother trope isn't the only thing out there with Disney, but yes, the dead mother plot is a fixture of fiction, so deeply woven into our storytelling fabric that it seems impossible to unravel or explain. The one question that I do ask is, why Disney? According to Disney producer Don Hahn, he says that it's because the movies are 80 or 90 minutes long, and Disney films are about growing up. They're about that day in your life when you have to accept responsibility. In shorthand, it's much quicker to have characters grow up when you bump off their parents. Another reason correlates to an incident in Walt's life involving his parents and a furnace leakage that led to his mother's death. And this devastation was probably shown by sparing the happy mother in this saddening time in his life. You really could look at this reasoning either way, but it's still good to look at the standards that all animation companies have followed since then. Now Sarah's post challenge to readers is having an animated kids movie that has a named mother in it and who lives until the credits roll. So now looking at these Disney animated films, which ones do follow that criteria? And is it even necessary? Some examples include Mulan, Brave Mon, and The Incredibles, which all have highly integral mothers in the midst of the film. But at the same time, Fighting Nemo, The Lion King, Bambi, and Lilo and Stitch demonstrate complex character building and utilize this trope so masterfully. As society evolves, we will only continue to see a love for the medium because of its awe-inspiring themes, and additionally get a demand for more perspectives on the big screen while also not fading from the trope entirely. Because of this, we shouldn't reject timeless stories from using this trope, but rather encourage big animation companies such as Disney to continue creating greater contemporary choices that will continue to capture our hearts. Thanks for watching. From all of us in the Disney family who've lost our mothers,